Hi there, my name is Simone. I'm the Zen Mommy and thank you for watching my YouTube channel where I help people with their spiritual awakening and the healing of the mind, body, and soul. Today I want to talk about belief. Um, belief, not in a system, not in a limiting belief system, but belief in you, belief in yourself. And the reason why I want to talk about belief is because this is something that I've struggled with along my journey. And being in the position that I am, realizing that I'm a light worker, awakening, right? It's one thing to awaken, another thing to realize you're awakening, not just to consciousness, but awakening to being a light worker, realizing that you are here for a purpose. You know, uh, there's a common term that they say are star seeds, that star seeds are people who were sent here from another dimensionary uh, dimension or planet, and they were here with the purpose of helping uh, Mother Gaia, the earth, or humanity in raising the vibration. And so, believing in yourself, if you're an awakening light worker, and believing in yourself, it sometimes it could be very challenging because, you know, with me, you know, with my whole life, with all of our lives, we were basically, we were born into this life, okay? We were born as a blank slate, you know, an empty canvas that anyone in our life, our parents, our school systems, our friends, our churches, ministers, this blank canvas they begin to paint on, okay? They decided to write their own program, their own art. You know, our parents are teaching us what they were taught, what their parents were taught. And the churches are teaching us back ages and ages with ministers before them were taught and the school teachers are teaching us whatever the book says and the book is written by people who came before us and before us so basically it's as if people from billions of years before us has determined our life experience right now and so as you start to grow up we are indoctrinated with multitudes of belief systems okay belief systems like oh you know um uh, lighter skin is prettier or um, to have to be skinny is prettier or to have expensive clothes is nice see these are all belief systems that we're born with things that we think like uh, growing up for some reason uh, well for uh, for some not just for some reason I was assimilated of course because I thought that that was best even the church I went to they promoted they didn't promote natural hairstyles or, or braids we had you know get our hair pressed and curled and, and that was acceptable and so we began to I started to believe my natural state wasn't okay anymore and it just got to the point where all these belief systems they get indoctrinated in you hard to the core like the Bible for instance indoctrinated into people hard to the core and nobody really thinks about it although there's a lot of truth because there is truth these are stories by men they're they're their history okay but this was their indoctrinate <laughs> this was their doctors this was their belief systems and once you start to awaken you start to realize that you are the creator of your reality and your universe and no one really has any business telling you how to live your life how to how to what to do with your life and um, or teaching you their way as if that way is Bible okay and so breaking away from belief systems in order to believe in yourself that's like the most important part so if see if you don't accept yourself you could be called for something let's just say you're called for me okay for belief and I'm gonna use my example I struggle with a lot of things you know I believed half the stuff that I'm into that I dealt with that I that I do was evil. I believed that I never looked into it to see if it wasn't evil, but I believe, you know, communicating with your divine presence with the with the spirits, uh being having your own internal guidance. Um I believe that this was all idolatry. This was all demonic. This was all witchcraft, which we also classified as demonic. And so those in doc although I know that's not true anymore, although that I, I found for myself, okay, that's one thing you have to do. You want to start believing in yourself, you need to first start uh, seeking the truth, seeking your truth. And see, that I think that's the number one key to finding yourself. Like over the year I've I've come more into more and beliefs. Like when I first when I first wanted to get into healing, I started off wanting to just do acupuncture because I thought even though it was holistic, it was safe. I wasn't worrying about invisible energy and spirits 
But then I couldn't help but resonate when I heard about Reiki. And I started to Google it and look it up. And even in acupuncture, they, in the acupuncture, they teach you about Tai Chi and move and energy. And I'm like, wait a minute, energy can be moved? Energy can be dealt with? And, and it completely resonated with me because you know what, in church, I would see them pray for people and I would see people get healed. And from my belief system, it was only them that had access. And they said, if anybody had access to healing, they were using it, they were false healings and they were using the devil. And they, and they would even use the scripture how, you know, they're healing, they're using magic and miracles, you know, false miracles. But the thing is, I went to look for myself, okay? And once I looked and once I saw the, the, the science in it, and, and then I saw the spiritual in it, like uh, uh, Mukai Yusai, how he came up with Reiki, how he fasted 21 days. Let me tell you something. If you believe in the Bible, you believe in the power of prayer and fasting. And you believe that, you know, if, some, if somebody is really trying to get God's attention, prayer and fasting is the, fa the quickest way to do it. And so that started to help me change my belief system into believing in something that I could do, something for myself. And so I think the number the one one of the things that blocks me even now it's like having complete belief. Like I just did a video on angel communication and I was having a hard time believing in the fact that angels were communicating to me. Why was I having a hard time believing that an angel could communicate with me? Because of my belief system, because of Christianity, because we believed that angels weren't available to us like that, that they were just like this mythical thing that we'll see once we get to the other side in heaven, you know. And so, but believing in yourself is what's going to give you the power to live your soul purpose, to, to, to live your dreams. And so it, it's a very important part of your spiritual awakening because through this awakening, through this ascension process, we have all these symptoms. We're going through a lot of trials and tribulations and we have the ego and the ego, he's going to talk to you. He's going to knock you down. He's going to, he's gonna, everything that you think that you're starting to change your belief to, your ego still has the old beliefs in the memory system. And it's going to be like, mm -mm -mm, that's witchcraft. You're messing with things now, you know, about a deck of oracle cards and oh boy was I nervous divination I, I I they gave me an exorcism for divination and so getting those cards was, was was very scary for me but the reason why I got them is because I wanted to start having a closer communication with my spirit guide with my higher self and I wanted to figure out how to do this so I bought a deck of angel cards because that's what I resonated with and so like self-acceptance accepting who you are and then believing who you are now I want to talk about um, I want to talk about J.K. Rowling. <laughs> She's one of the people on my journey that I looked at, and you know, she reminds me of myself. How I was um, I was on welfare before my awakening last year when I first had my baby. My husband abandoned us, and I had to support a child. And I think about her story. This woman was on welfare. She had a toxic ex-husband and her ex-husband left her. And let me tell you something. If she didn't believe in herself, she wrote a book. She wrote a book called Harry Potter. And if she didn't believe in herself, the first she and she sent this to different publishers and authors. They turned that book down. They have a they have a, a, a movie on her on the Lifetime channel. She got turned down a lot of times, but you know what? She didn't give up. She didn't give up her belief. And once she, she kept going, and that's what I'm talking about, believing in yourself, believing in whatever your ability is, if you're a medium, if you're a psychic, if you're a healer, if you're here to just help people, if you're a musician, no matter what you are in this life, you have to have 100% belief. You have to accept yourself, you have to love yourself, and you can't allow anyone to project fears onto you. Now, J.K. Rowling, she has wrote a book that became a movie and she has made the most money of any publisher, any publisher at all through this book that she didn't give up on. She believed in herself. She believed in her story. And so I, I wanted to talk about that. It's the same with Cookie on um, the show Empire. I talked about this before. You can, she said, she quoted, you can't let anyone project their fears onto you. If they project their fears onto you, that casts doubt. You already have the ego talking this negative talk to you. And because she didn't believe that she was 26 years old, she was headed to California. She said, mama, I'm gonna be a star. And everybody was like, you're 26 years old, you have a little baby. Most people who make it in Hollywood are younger. And she was just like, if I listen to them, I'll be back there in the South. But guess what? She is 
my age and she has all kind of she has a she's a star of a show she has all kind of movies this woman is successful because guess what she believed in herself and it, honestly it doesn't really take much spirituality to just have self-belief but when you awaken I, I understand it's hard we have to break away from so many belief systems we almost get scared about what to believe in next you know I go through that too like all these things that come to you you know spirituality the things that I learned I'm like should I take your time and let it resonate first before you actually married to something make sure it's right for you but the number one thing that you can believe in right now is yourself and i'm here to send you that encouraging message today thank you for watching peace and love namaste